戦闘かなるべくは避けたい行為だ仕方あるまい。ああ、すんごい。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、And now I bring death. So now proceed on your way to oblivion. So, Makura, Himotokeba, Oton, Kushi, Dai, Tom, Monjitchkin, Dai Shinto, then I have a ten. And now, if I'm lucky, I can kill all of you instantly. I mean, I'm sure I'll be able to kill the two assassins. That's not the hard part. The lancer up front will be the not really hard part, but eh. Kinda of hope he's the one I insta kill. And got him. Don't touch, never ever steal, unless you're in for the kill. Or you've been hit by the curse of the pharaohs. Yes, you've been hit, and the curse is on you. Anyways. Please don't let there be any dialogue. Please just let it move forward. Yes. Praise be the Lord. All right. Let's go kill an archer. Of course. You must bring Musashi because we fucking hate you. Hey, do you want to fucking bring, I don't know, a saber to fight an archer? Yeah, that sounds like a riveting fucking great idea, doesn't it? Alright. Well, obviously my team player for this one is gonna have to be Inkadu. Backup stratagem, Taiga. If I can get away with it, I want to leave Salter in the team. And... Drop down these. There we go. Place you with... I don't want to bring... Do math. Bring El Moloi the second, or I want to bring Merlin. I think Merlin would be a better option. I want to keep Salter in the team, but if I get fucked over and I don't have a choice, I'm gonna have to switch her up. All right.
Goo. Goo is always a go-to. Alright. Alright, uh, worst case, I've got my command spells, so... Yeah. So I can roll all night and party every day. So what I'm going to do is, the moment the battle starts, I'm going to immediately swap out Musashi for M.A.S.H. And I'm going to try and defend best I can using uh, M.A.S.H., Merlin, and Inkadu is obviously going to be my damage dealer. Actually. Oh, man. Maybe. Can I get away with it? I totally could. Uh, I don't know, though. I think it might be better just to keep him on standby. Uh, at least then Ku can uh, tank some hits. Buy me some time, at least. All right. Ugh. I knew it. This world is truly hell. Lord... Yoshinaka fought for the people. He stood up against the Tyra's arrogance. He thought he was doing what was right. He was trying to create a peaceful world, even if he had to take others' lives to do so. Kiso Yoshinaka was my beloved hero, a peerless warrior. He fought alongside the Genji to free them from the tyranny of the Tyra. He fought and fought and fought. And yet, even after the Tyra had been defeated, this new world hated Lord Yoshinaka. The very instant the Genji were in power in Kyoto, they betrayed him. Even after he had fought by their side, they said he was evil. How dare they? How dare they? Now Lord Yoshinaka is dead, murdered at the hands of the Genji. I shall never forgive them. I detest. Detest, detest, detest. I hate, 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 hate. I detest the Genji clan for betraying you, Lord Yoshinaka. I loathe the people of Japan for not accepting him. I detest everything about this world. I am overcome with loathing. It shall never go away. This is truly hell. There is no other word for it. Contemptible worms grow in number and size, while good people are nowhere to be found. And why would there be? This world has always been hell. I detest it. I loathe it. I despise it. Nothing has changed since then. I still burn with anger and hate. No. Wait. Something... Something is different. I too must have died and made a mark on humanity. I have materialized in the world as a shadow of my former self. But then, why do I still fester with hatred? When I was alive, I hid myself away and lived out the rest of my days in peace once the war came to an end. So why do I now burn so fiercely? Is it because I'm a heroic spirit? Is it the way I've materialized? No, 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 it's something else. Why, why, why? Why was it not enough for me to shed tears over losing the one I loved? What is this urge I have to use myself as firewood? Detestation, anger, the curse of annihilation inside me drives me madly, wildly mad. With the fire growing unchecked, now it's the time to turn things around. Ah, I have finally disgraced myself to the point where I can fall no further. I have become a demon. My illness has advanced to the point where I can no longer be turned around, be around others. These flames. I sense magical energy at work. It could be magecraft or a servant's ability. And then there's the sky. It should be midday, but our surroundings are as dark as night. Right. Fuma hasn't Fuma hasn't seen it yet. This is how it always goes. The Hero Expert Swordmasters can make the blood-soaked moon appear in the sky. Then again, this wasn't the case last night. Maybe they only make the moon come out if they feel like it. Or when they're about to get serious. We have successfully made our way behind enemy lines, but stay alert. There is no telling when they may attack us. <clears throat> right now, they are simply moving north. But if their leader were to notice us... I think we'll be okay there. It looks like the old man really does know his strategy. 
those are Lord Tajima no Kami's hundred samurai. They will keep the monsters busy so we can slip through unnoticed. Alright, so far everything's going according to his plan. There's only one servant horn nearby, about 200 meters ahead. Honestly, what are they thinking? I'm just doing as my curse of annihilation tells me to do, and they see fit to send 50, no, a hundred coarse warriors my way. That's excessive for dealing with a lone woman like me. Perhaps they simply fear these monsters roaming around. There you are, wicked creature. Are you the one who has been leading these creatures and terrorizing Shimosa? Yes. Something like that. It is too late to turn yourself in. We shall not leave this battlefield without your head. We defeated the Christians that threatened our country. Now you too shall witness our might for yourself. Oh my. How scary. Scary. Yes, that is scary. It's dreadful and loathsome. If this world is hell, you must be the devils that torment those of us who are trapped here. What rubbish. We are the keepers of the peace in this world. In one swift stroke, we shall cut down wicked creatures like yourself who threaten our safety. We fear not the sorcery you use to control these beasts. We all carry famed katana that have proven their worth in battle. Your defeat is all but certain. My, how impressive. But I doubt any of your blades are on par with the... Oh my god. Me, oh... My, my Uji Giri Moramasa. Oh yeah, the sword the fucking what's her face took. That defeated purgatory. As such, they cannot hope to kill me. I am nothing but firewood now. I have used my soul, my spirit, origin, and my body to stoke the fires of fury and become flame itself. No ordinary human stands a chance against me. The flames are getting hotter! Burn, baby, burn, disco inferno, burn, baby, burn, burn this mother down. No, wait, I got another one. No, wait. I can't remember the words to, uh, to burning love. A hunk of hunk of burning love. Lord Almighty, feeling my temperature rising. Higher and higher, it's burning through to my soul. Alright, enough of this. If she uses her sorcery, just cut through it. Push forward and kill her. I am loathing, I am anger, I am hatred and fury. Behold how brightly I burn. I shall despend upon all of you. You, your parents, your brothers, your sisters, your wives, your children. Everyone. 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 I shall melt your eyes, sear your hearts, and char your bone. Char every bone in your body until only ash remains. Now burn! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! It won't go out! Please stop! I can't breathe! It burns! I'm just a hunk of hunk of burning love! Help! <laughs> Ha! Huh. Looks like I made it just in time. I've never cut fire before, but there's the first time for everything. They're still breathing. Lady Donzo, please take the injured to safety and give the others instructions. They may be able to hold their own against these monsters, but it's impossible for humans to fight a servant. Understood. I will take care of the injured and instruct the other samurai. What a surprise to see you here. Wait, who are you again? Didn't we see you last night? Yeah, it was just last night. So kind of you to so kind of you to remember us. Still, I suppose I should announce myself anyway since we're about to face off. My name is Musashi, Miyamoto Musashi. Though your swordmaster seemed to prefer calling me Shenmin Musashi. You may have forgotten us, but I haven't forgotten you, Archer of Inferno. Is our last fight already in your distant past or something? I'm sorry. I don't know who you are. But if you're people who live in this world, 
I will have to burn you all the same. That is simple. Very simple. I would like you to die now, please. And do stay out of my way. You see those thirty... No, hundred men over there. I have to burn them all up. After all, I'm firewood, right? And you need fire if you're going to roast sinners in hell, right? Well, she's beyond bonkers. Inferno. I don't like the way you fight or kill. Burning everything does not eliminate the root of conflict. Left unchecked, the root only grows into the next war. One with nothing to gain and everything to lose. What can you possibly gain from this? This isn't even your time. Nothing happening now should affect you personally. And I doubt burning everything in sight is going to make someone want to give you something like the Holy Grail. So why kill all these people when there's nothing in it for you? Why fight at all? I can't hope to understand if you won't talk to me. At least tell me why you're doing all this. There is nothing to understand. I am Firewood. Firewood does not speak or think or... How dare you attack me while I'm still talking, you coward! Don't talk to me about cowardice when you literally spread fire as easily as breathing. I know full well you're stronger than me. In which case, you better believe I'm going to try and lop off an arm or two before you get serious. Here I thought this conversation would continue, but instead you lash out at me in fury, I see. So that is the sort of cowardice you prefer. In that case, why don't we take this elsewhere? A plane where there's no strategy or technique at all. Oh good. Raw. Yelling. And this strange magical energy. Lady Musashi, I believe this servant is likely. An Oni. I guess those horns on her helmet weren't just for show. More yelling. A lot more yelling. How dare you! I detest you! I can't stand it! Lord Yoshinaka! More yelling! Yoshinaka? Did I hear her right? Uh, who? The only Yoshinaka I can think of off the top of my head is Kiso Yoshinaka, one of the greatest generals from hundreds of years ago. So she had ties to Yoshinaka. I see. Makes sense. I can understand why she would hate all of Japan. All the more so now that things are peaceful in the Tokugawa region, since the Tokugawa family is supposed to be descended from the Seiwa Genji. Kiso Yoshinaka was a general who helped Minamoto Yor Yoritomo overthrow the Tira. I can't read the rest of the explanation. Holy fuck, this is long. Helped Minamoto Yoritomo overthrow the Tiara Regiment. T Tyra, whatever. Regime. He was once lauded as a great general, but ended up being persecuted by Yoritomo after he had outlived his usefulness. I've heard his name before, as well as his beloved wife's, who was always by his side. Stuttering? Growling? She was a courageous woman and an incredibly skilled warrior, an armor-clad battle maiden who fought better than any man. The daughter of, Nara of Nakahara Kang... Hanato, and the younger sister of Hig Higuchi Kanimitsu and Ima Kanihira. The one who always fought by Yoshinaka's side, yet couldn't bear witness to his death. That's who you are, isn't it? A woman who burns with hatred and, and de detestation. Tomo Gozen. Hey, we heard about her in the demonic fort. Hmm. I don't really care to pick that answer, though, because I think that one was just shoehorned in. He must be the karma implanted by that curse thing. Her soul has been dead for a long time, just like Yard in Lord Inchwin's. The thing in front of us now is nothing more than a husk. The vestige of what Tomo goes in the servant used to be. At least that's how I see it. But no matter how tragic her story is or how justified her anger may be, I'm not going to hold back. That's right, I won't hold back at all. I can't afford to against her anyway. I refuse to take pity on her, but can I still defeat her? This katana may be up to the task, but my skills sure aren't. It's not her soul I need to cut, it's her karma. I have to sever her grudge itself, and my skills haven't reached a point where I can do that. But so what? I should be thrilled I get it to go up against Tomo Gozen. This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to prove myself against an unrivaled master. 
If I back down now, it would bring shame to my Ninten Ichiru style. The only thing I need to worry about doing to this flame in human clothing is cut it down with my crossed blades. I'm glad I brought you with me, Mio, Mio Jin, Jingiri Muramasa. Now come on, Inferno, it's time we settled this. More yelling. My name is Tomo. T Tomoi? I don't know how you pronounce her name. I don't really care. No. No, it isn't. I am the Archer of Inferno, the one who shall burn this world to cinders. Come forth, my blood-soaked frontier. This mountain of bodies and river of blood shall serve as our stage and consume the loser's soul upon their defeat. Oh no, someone activated the skill of Ori Kalkos. My blade's cursed name is Archer of Inferno. My vessel's true name, Tomoe Gozen. Prepare yourselves, Shinmen Musashi. Our final battle is upon us. Let's do this. Good we stop now, because I have to go take care of something after this, uh, after this. Or not after this, but once this, uh, cutscene plays. Or cutscene, quotation marks.